we started ordering a veggie box. There's some organic fun for the whole family. I used to have to go shopping for my vegetables, like some sort of Neanderthal hunter-gatherer. Not anymore. Now I can reverse global warming by driving somewhere and picking up a bunch of stuff someone else has chosen for me. Generally, when I turn up, first thing I say to the free spirit soap of order in charge is, what is this? And I'm not referring to the fact that I can pick up $65 worth of veg with my left hand. I genuinely don't know what most of it is. Just full of wartime root vegetables and the like. But therein lies the magic. I'm just as likely to get 12 heirloom squash, a black banana, and one potato for the whole family to enjoy, as I am to get 24 of whatever these things are. But I cannot tell you what a world of excitement this has opened up for the kids. Their faces light up when they realise Big Lunch is a whole Jerusalem artichoke and a parsnip sandwich. Whenever I'm really craving some paddock to the plate goodness, I'll head down to an inner city farmer's market. They're superb. Every now and then I'll have a hankering for a $10 bunch of carrots that haven't been allowed to grow to their full potential. Or maybe a $3.50 apple that's been lovingly nurtured on a quarter acre block by some skinny little stamp collector and a neckerchief calling himself a farmer. And don't get me wrong, farming is the cornerstone of our society, I love it. In times of drought, our hearts all go out to farmers. But as a general rule, as long as my milk remains cheaper than water, I don't want to hear about it. Sometimes, and this will warm your cockles, one of our duopoly supermarkets will give capitalism the day off and bring in a cardboard box with a cash-sized donation slit in the top for the farmers. The same farmers that I, for one, have never heard a peep out of during a bumper crop season. And people like me can part with our hard-earned, safe in the knowledge we've done our bit to help. As long as we pretend some midnight shelf packer isn't just going to piss off with my dosh. Farmers I think of the most though in times of turmoil are of course your expensive wooden breadboard and jars of fig chutney farmers out there on the land doing it tough for the rest of us. Where's their donation box? Oh. I'm going home.